your girl Renee and as I was walking through my backyard I was just amazed at the beauty of these Chloriopsis. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Isn't that such a beautiful sight? Now let's get really up close on it so you can really see what a Chloriopsis look like. And then you have it up against that the clematis from my white arbor and then you have the Japanese maple and then look at it with the backdrop of that arbor vitae and then you have that hosta on the side that is such a beautiful thing but the real reason that I'm out here today is because we are about to get some rain check it out see how dark the clouds are and we have been waiting for rain in Virginia like for weeks now. So I'm hoping and praying that we will get some rain. But the real reason that I am out here is because look what has opened. Are you guys ready? Okay. Remember our black lily? Well, our black lily has arrived. But it really doesn't look black. It looks more like a really dark burgundy so maybe as time goes on that this lily will get a little darker but I wanted to come out and make this video now because with this storm coming I didn't want it to knock this lily off but I want to make sure I brought it so you guys could actually see our black lily and up close as you can see it has some of the blackness on the leaves, but still it is more of a real dark, dark burgundy. But this camera doesn't do it justice because like this leaf right here, it has a really black tone to it. So look at the bud, how it looks. See how that bud of the lily looks? But as it opens, it looks like that but that in itself is still a beautiful lily it is gorgeous and then the backdrop of that lily with those purple um, clematis is just striking just striking so let's get an up close of this beautiful clematis it's gorgeous and then with our black lily I'm telling you if you have not tried to grow lilies in your garden this is a must-have even though it isn't as dark as I thought it was gonna be I'm still so happy to have this lily in my garden so let me show you what how my day lilies are coming since I'm out here so let's come over here and take a look at this day lily. Look at this day lily. Isn't that a gorgeous day lily? That's what the bloom looks like. And then that's what the day lily looks like. That is just amazing. And then I have this weed that's growing over here, which I'm going to eventually pull out. But sometimes weeds can be so beautiful. Look at that. I think I'm going to make a flower arrangement um, coming up real soon and then I will um, take this out. But isn't that beautiful? It almost looks like a daisy, but in actuality, look, it's just a weed that has voluntarily came up in my garden. And then we have these daylilies. I don't know if I can get it close. But that's the Stella Della Ora yellow daylilies that are beautiful. And I have a whole bunch of the daylilies growing in my garden. But I just wanted to bring you that. Let's take another look at our beautiful um, black lily. Isn't that gorgeous? Even the underside. Let's see the underside of the lily. Even the underside of the lily is still like a dark burgundy. But like I said, I'll keep an eye on it to see if the color changes and gets any darker. 
All right, guys. Well, I will leave you with that look at our fabulous black lily. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. And Miss Renee, we'll see you in the next video. All right, you guys. Take care.